What's new in Awaken OS version 1.6 based on Android 11 running on the Xiaomi POCO F1? Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to show you what is new in Awaken OS version 1.6 based on Android 11 running on the Xiaomi Poco F1. Now, in case you want to have a look at the features of previous builds, how to install Awaken OS, we do have separate videos for those which can be found in the description of this video. Next thing, the build which I am using is Vanilla plus Next Google Apps because that is how I like it. Then, as you can see on your screen, Android version is 11, Awaken version is 1.6. The code name is Sienna, build is official, maintainer Saikiran, security patch, yes, security patch is from February 2021. Kernel they are using is Silver Core version 8.1. The build is from February 1st and SE Linux is set as enforcing. The first change you will notice is if you go into settings, battery, bam, here it is, smart charging in the building, you can set your stop trigger level, the start trigger level, and in case you want to reset your battery statistics, you have a toggle for that as well. Next up, go into settings, display, and here, if you scroll down, you have a toggle for pocket mode or prevent accidental wake up so it is going to check the proximity sensor prior to waking up the screen in case the device is in your pocket it's not going to wake it up now once you enable this toggle you have another toggle which says allow fingerprint in pocket mode so let us say you have your phone inside the pocket enable this toggle and you can now unlock your device inside your pocket using your fingerprint scanner if that toggle is not enabled then you won't be able to do so Next up, they have added some pretty cool animated clocks. So for that, you need to go into settings, awaken settings, themes, clock style, and bam, here it is, three different options. So you have swing animation, loading animation, and the bubble animation. And you also have check boxes for minute accent color, accent color for the custom clock, and hour accent color. And trust me, these bubble clocks do look pretty dope other than that still staying in themes you also have the option to state the opacity for your status bar and your quick settings panel so let us say i swipe down and right now it is set as default let us change this to zero and bam there it is you can see it is now back to transparent change it to 130 bam there it is that is how it looks and if you want both the status bar and your quick settings panel to be totally transparent bam there it is that is how it is going to look like then they have also added a toggle for quick settings media player as you can see i do have the media player in my quick settings disable the toggle and now let us restart the system ui because that is needed and now if I swipe down, you can see that the media player is not part of the quick settings. Let me change the opacity and then it's going to be a bit more clear. There it is, you can see media player is now not a part of your quick settings media player. Do note, there might be some confusion because you have a similar option in settings sound and then if you go into media, you will see you have a similar option here but this one does not work. The one which works is in settings, awaken settings and themes. Here it is in quick settings, themes section. Next up, still in awaken settings, go into status bar and here you have a new option in clock options. So now you can set the font size for the clock in your status bar and in your quick settings. So right now, let us say it is set as 12 for the status bar and the quick setting is set as 25. So here it is this is your expanded quick settings 25 and it is set as 12 for the status bar let us change this and bam there it is you can see the size increased and let us reduce the quick setting size and there it is you can see that one decreased so these are two new options which they have added other than that 
let us now go back to awaken settings main page and now if you go into quick settings you have a toggle to enable or disable the drag handle so what is this drag handle you see this small bar here this is the drag handle so right now it is enabled let us disable it and as you can see the drag handle has now disappeared and now it is back other than that they have also added system wide dolby so it was removed in the previous build but here it is moto audio tuned by dolby is back in this latest build of awaken os next up we can check for safety net so here it is as you can see my device is not rooted right now i have only installed magisk manager to check for safety net passing without any issues let us open the play store as well go into settings play protect certification device is certified this means you should be able to use your banking apps without any issues in terms of youtube media playback everything works absolutely fine which includes live caption and picture in picture do note for picture in picture to work without any issues you do need to have either youtube premium or be in a specific country if you do not have youtube premium for picture in picture mode to work without any issues next up we can check for widewine l1 so drm info application security level is l1 let me open the prime video application and try to play a video let me see let me see if i can find something which is free for me so here it is this is the one tap on download best size is 0.88 gb continue watching here is your timeline and you do not have the hd text beside it which means widewine is broken on this build and you should know by now that you have to blame xiaomi and poco for this hot mess and not the rom itself then let us have a look at the google feed so here it is no jitters and no lags in the google feed do note i am using the build which has pixel launcher from next google apps let us check out the recents as well bam there it is no jitters no lags everything is smooth select works like a boss without any issues screenshot works as well and next up let us have a look at the app switching animations here it is no issues when switching between different applications we can also have a look at the app opening animations so again no jitters and no lags with respect to the app opening animations as well everything is working without any issues next up hey google works with the screen turned on and let us turn off the screen hey google please wake up wake up there it is as you can see it is working with the screen turned off as well and the issue with the previous build wherein the ui was on the top that issue has been fixed in this build next up let us open google photos and then we can try to open a picture so here it is a picture of my favorite football star try to edit it and then go into adjust bam here it is portrait light feature is present and working without any issues on this build next up do note google did drop some exclusive pixel wallpapers yesterday and if you go into styles and wallpapers bam here it is the curated culture wallpapers are present on this build along with the mandalorian wallpapers as well and there it is peeps that is what was new in the latest build of awaken os version 1.6 based on android 11 running on the xiaomi poco f1 and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you